What if I told you that there's another planet in our solar system that's five to 10 times as massive as the Earth, but nobody has ever actually seen it? That's exactly what the most distant asteroids in our solar system, far beyond the reaches of the known planets, have suggested. As more of these objects were discovered over the past decade, astronomers noticed something peculiar. All of the orbits, or the paths of the asteroid's motion, were aligned on one side of the sky, as shown on the right side of this slide. Normally, we would expect asteroids to just be randomly distributed across the sky, unless there's something else that's perturbing them to hold them in place. But the apparent asymmetry has persisted. That's where Planet Nine comes in. Massive objects in space, like planets, can push around neighboring objects without any physical contact, using the gravitational force that they exert, in the same way that magnets can repel each other without touching. That's what astronomers think Planet Nine is doing to these asteroids in the outer solar system, forcing their orbits to stay on one side of the sky. In my thesis, I'm searching for Planet Nine using data from a spacecraft called the Transiting Exoplanet Survey Satellite, or in shorthand, TESS. TESS was designed to study planets outside of our solar system. But in that process, TESS observes the entire sky, staring at each patch of sky for 27 days at a time. That data can be used for many applications, including searching for this elusive ninth planet. When we don't know where an object is, though, it's not so easy as just looking for a bright dot in the sky. There are lots of objects that should be about as bright as Planet Nine all across the sky, including asteroids, stars, and galaxies. So how can we make sure that we found the right dot? It turns out that objects at different distances from the Earth move at different speeds relative to us, and we can use that fact to figure out whether we're looking at the right object or not. A planet in the distant solar system would move across the sky much more quickly than background stars and galaxies, but much more slowly than nearby asteroids. We can't see objects smaller than Planet Nine at these vast distances because they're just too dim. So if we find a bright point moving at the right speed across the sky, we'll know that it's the planet we're looking for. I've developed a new data processing pipeline that searches for exactly these types of signals. It cleanly removes stars and other irrelevant signals from each data image so that it's easier to pick out the planet of interest. And I search for bright objects moving at all possible speeds that Planet Nine could have. This project is pushing the limits of our detection techniques to discover what would be the most distant solar system object ever found, and to hopefully add a new planet to our textbooks.